What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Suman and today's analysis video is going to be about the La Liga game between Real Madrid and Barcelona. So Real Madrid on paper were lined up in a 4-3-3 formation but their formation on the ground was mostly 4-4 with possession. Isco was given a free roll and he was allowed to move around to find small pocket of spaces and Valverde was moving up to give the attacking width from the right side. And Real Madrid also changed their formation to 4-1-4-1 without possession, with Casemiro covering the spaces in between the line. While Barcelona on the other hand also lined up in a 4-3-3 formation which was more like a 4-3-1-2 on the ground. Vidal was constantly dropping in between the lines with Messi and Griezmann the two men up front and they changed their formation to a 4-4-2 without possession. So we all know that Kike Satyan is a big admirer of possession based football and building the play from the back is a big part of his playing style. And this is where Real Madrid mostly caught Barcelona in this game. Real Madrid's man-oriented high press to block Barcelona's passing options created lots of issues for Barcelona. Barcelona are trying to build their play from the back. Real Madrid are implementing a man-oriented high press. The angle of Benzema and Isco's runs have cut the wide passing options. The only passing options available for Ter Stegen are the two midfielders, who are also being man-marked and Valverde is the free man to win the second balls. Ter Stegen to Sergio Busquets and Sergio Busquets one touch pass to Arthur. And again, Arthur's passing options are now blocked and the ball goes out of play as Arthur tries to pick Semedo. Once again, man oriented high press and forcing Ter Stegen to make a mistake, which he does and gives the ball straight to a Real Madrid player. Ter Stegen tries to pick Vidal but Casemiro wins the aerial duel and he heads the ball in the path of Marcelo, who now has 5 Madrid players ahead of him to catch Barcelona. Casemiro to Marcelo and Barcelona are now outnumbered in their own defensive third and they were lucky to get away with their mistake. Barcelona had a few issues at the start but as the game progressed, Barcelona were able to find ways to break Real Madrid's high press with their off the ball runs. Once again, same man oriented high press as Ter Stegen plays the ball to PK. PK receives the ball from Testegen and Vidal immediately drops behind the front line and he pulls Marcelo out of his position to open the space for Samedo's run. Marcelo was dragged out by Vidal and Samedo is now free to run in the space. Marcelo easily taken out, Samedo makes the run and Barcelona now have 2v2 up top to attack Real Madrid's defense. Vinicius had no choice but to make a tactical foul to stop Barcelona's attack. He gets a yellow card but stops a promising Barcelona attack. The problem with a man-oriented pressing is that if you lose the man that you are supposed to mark, you always put your team in trouble. Once again, others are keeping a tight marking on the nearby passing options but Vinicius has lost track of Samedo. Ter Stegen easily picks Samedo. Vinicius lost track of Samedo and Samedo is now free to run in the space. And that's one of the downfalls of man-oriented pressing. If one player loses his marker, it always puts another teammate in a 1v2 position. Real Madrid in this game mostly had a 4-4 formation with possession. Isco was given a free roll and he was mostly playing alongside Benzema, with Valverde providing the attacking width from the right side. Here we can see Madrid's front line of 4 men with Isco alongside Benzema and Valverde on the right wing. The combination of Benzema and Valverde created lots of issues for Barcelona's defense. Benzema was constantly dropping in between the lines to pull the Barcelona centre-backs out of their positions to open the gaps in the defence for the ones of Valverde. Benzema drops deep and he pulls Umtiti out of his defensive line to open the space for the run of Valverde. Umtiti was taken out by Benzema and Valverde is now free to run in the space with runners joining him from the other side. Benzema once again drops deep to receive the ball from his centre-back and he pulls Umtiti out of his defensive line to open the space in the defence for the run of Valverde. Umtiti once again easily taken out by Benzema and Elba is now left in a 1v1 position. Valverde takes a touch in the space and makes the run through that same space that was left open by Umtiti. Benzema again drops to receive the ball from his fullback and plays a one-touch pass behind the line for the run of Valverde. Benzema could not score any goals in this game but he still played a big part in Real Madrid's offensive play even for the first goal. Benzema once again drops deep 
and he gives the impression that he's going to receive the ball from Tony Cruz. Benzema's deeper position has forced Nelson Semedo out of his defensive line and that has opened the space for the run of Vinicius Jr. Madrid without possession mostly kept a 4-1-4-1 formation with Casemiro covering the spaces in between the lines. Casemiro was trying to cover Messi whenever Messi dropped in between the lines. Real Madrid's 4-1-4-1 formation without possession with Casemiro covering the spaces in between the lines. Casemiro was keeping a very close eye on Messi and he was trying to match his runs closely. So in order to free Messi and to exploit these big spaces in between the lines that Casemiro was covering, Barcelona started pushing Frankie de Jong in between the lines. Whenever Frankie de Jong moved up, it left Casemiro in a 1v2 position against the two Barcelona players. Barcelona are now trying to outnumber Casemiro by moving de Jong in between the lines. Casemiro moves out to cover Frankie de Jong and Sergio Ramos leaves his line to cover Messi who has dropped in between the lines. Ramos is forced to step out and that has opened the space in Real Madrid's defense for Arthur to play the ball to Vidal. Both Ramos and Casemiro are easily taken out and Vidal makes the run to exploit the space that was left open by Sergio Ramos. Once again, Frankie de Jong is pulling Casemiro away to open the passing lane for Umtiti to pick Griezmann in between the lines. Casemiro was again forced to move wide by Frankie de Jong and Griezmann's deeper position has forced Varane to step out of his defensive line. Umtiti tries to pick Griezmann, but Griezmann lets the ball go to Vidal. Vidal gets the ball and plays a first-time pass in the space that Griezmann created by pulling Varane out of his position. And once again, it all started from Frankie de Jong's in-between-the-lines position to pull Casemiro out of his position. Mariano scored the second goal for Real Madrid, which was a result of a very poor defending from Umtiti. A simple throw-in and Umtiti had no answer to the pace of Mariano. Barcelona also had a few chances in this game to score some goals, but their finishing was very poor in this game, while Real Madrid on the other hand were very clinical with their finishing. With this victory, Real Madrid are now back at the top of the La Liga table with 56 points. Thank you so much guys for watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe.